Alright YouTube, here comes a knife I was super excited about when I saw the release for it. It's Gerber. Made in America, Portland, Oregon. Gerber Fastball. New for 2019. Stupid name. Awesome design. Okay. So first thing we want to talk about here is this knife is made in America. This knife is, I would call, a gentleman carry. Pretty good EDC size. I fell in love with the materials and the fact that they uh, made it in America. The design. And the price point, about a hundred bucks. So, as you can see, I hope you can see. S30V. Okay, it's an awesome blade steel. I like their little logo on this side. Hard anodized aluminum handle. Uh, pretty cool looking pivot. And tip up, tip down option on your pocket clip. Okay, since I mentioned a pocket clip, let's just let's just start there. Um, I think this is going to be the primary way people carry this knife is in the configuration that it comes in. So it's hilarious to me that the Gerber logo is upside down. So for me, that's. That's the first issue I had with, with the blade. I'm going to go a little negative here because I have to. And I just want to say that I wanted to love this knife. But for me, I kind of just don't. Uh, second thing I noticed right off the bat is this grind. Look at the inconsistency on the edge from the tip, you know, down the rest of the blade. If you're going to boast made in America, that grind should be a little more, a little more even than that. This side's not so bad. Okay. But what this also does when they kind of goofed up the edge there, the relief edge, is, and I'm hoping you can see this here, is, man, look look at that tip. It is hilariously off. And blade centering. Look at the blade centering. Wow. Okay. Those, those are fatal flaws for me on this knife. But one, one more thing that I noticed. I believe it's the last thing. Yeah, action's good. But I opened this up and I noticed that, you know, the line of locks kind of skinny. And, and that's okay. But check this out. Look how far over it goes. Okay. And then watch this. I can literally move that with medium pressure. I don't even think this knife uh, would be safe, really. I think that lock would fail on you. So, there's not much out on the fastball yet. I ordered it right away because I, I just, I loved it. I saw... I think it was SHOT Show that, that they introduced to that. Um, just beautiful design, beautiful lines, beautiful material, nice little lanyard hold here. Made in America. Worn cliff, drop point, blade, whatever you want to call it. Just loved it. Loved the size. It's a 3 inch blade. Let me flip this over and show you. Okay. 
3-inch blade. Loved everything about it. The size of the flipper tab, it doesn't stick down too far. The pivot. I just, I fell in love with it. And in fact, I will say this. Um, we're just going to kind of move this because it's a little bit embarrassing. We're not going to boast this is an American-made knife. But I like this knife enough that after they uh, run more productions on it and things like that, I may try it again. I like it that much. Um, so as of right now, the new Fastball from Gerber, American-made, around 100 bucks, should be awesome. But isn't. But I hope they get it together. And I hope that in the future, future production runs and future orders of this knife are, are up to snuff. One other thing that's just a little cheap is a, like a Zytel or FRN backspacer. But you know what? Not a deal breaker, man. Not a deal breaker at all. The other flaws with the knife are... are or what damage it for me. But I wanted to get this video out. Stay tuned. You know, subscribe, comment on your experiences if you have one. But on this particular knife, um, I can't give it a pass. Just because there's too many things that are wrong with it. Um, like I said, design great, execution not so great that's it in a nutshell the Gerber fastball wah, wah, wah. we'll just give it a proper proper exit thank you guys hopefully the next review will be more positive